Welcome to day 24 of my A4R Advent Calendar. In this series of videos I show you in 24 days how to program the A4R APIP microcontrollers. So today is the last day of my Advent Calendar and today I want to talk about how to use watchdogs with the Mega microcontrollers. But first let's talk about what a watchdog is and how we can use it. So here is the datasheet of the Mega 88 microcontroller. And here we have the section watchdog timer. So basically the watchdog is just a timer. And the source for this timer is a, a 128 kilohertz oscillator. But if this is too fast for us, we can set a prescaler. And now if a counter overflow occurs and we have enabled the watchdog, the watchdog will trigger a reset of our microcontroller. Okay, but this is stupid. Let's say we have set the prescaler to one second and we enable the watchdog, so every second we will get a reset. Yes, this is true, but in normal operation, the program has to make sure it, it clears the um, counter register before the overflow occurs. So in normal operation, the, um, the counter is cleared before the overflow and everything works just fine. But now let's say we come to a condition where our program hangs up. Maybe it waits for an event which never comes, so we are not able to operate in normal mode any longer. And now the watchdog counter will not be resetted and then we will um, have a, an overflow which will trigger a reset of the, um, of the microcontroller. So this could be very useful if we have a more complex device like a USB device. And let's say we come to a condition where our USB device is waiting for a package which never arrives. So now the, um, the controller is waiting for a package and all the other communication coming from the PC will be ignored. This is a really bad condition and so it's better that in this case the watchdog, a watchdog is used and in this operation uh, Reset will be done in a given amount of time and then the device will operate normal again. So with the watchdog we can eliminate programming errors or hanging conditions or hang ups. So this is quite useful. Okay, so how do I want to show you how to use this watchdog? Here is the setup which I will use. So I've flashed a program on a microcontroller which I will show you in a second where I can control this LED here over input from the UART or USB to UART adapter here. So if I type in an S, it will set the LED. If I type in an R, it will reset the LED. But I have made a mistake. I if I press A, the microcontroller program will enter an endless loop and, the, um, and then we can't set or reset the LED any longer. So let me show you the program and how it works. Therefore, I will CD into my A4 Advanced Calendars folder and I've already created a new folder 24 watchdog. In here, we have a main function. So this is all the stuff we need for a UART. And here we have an interrupt service routine which will be um, triggered when, we, when a new character is received. And what we're doing here is we are reading the received character and now if it is an S, we will um, turn the LED on. If it's an R, we will turn the LED off. And if it's an A, we will enter this endless loop here. And down here, all we are doing is basically we print stop program and we will start the program and enter an endless loop. So if I, um, I've already flashed this program, so let me connect to this and let me um, power cycle my microcontroller here. Okay. Now I'm getting this stop program and now if I press S, the LED turns on. If I press R, the LED turns off. And if I press capital A, I'm entering this endless loop. And now if I, pre I can press S or R as often as I, I will, but nothing will happen. And here a watchdog can help us. So for using watchdogs, I have to include a for r slash WDT because here with this A4R headers and libraries, it's quite easy to use a watchdog. 
and I will use them instead of the watchdog registers. So if you're interested in the directly register, um, here is the register description and you can take a look at this by yourself, but I will just use the function from the A4R libraries. Okay, so first let's um, enable the watchdog. Okay, and therefore I will use the function wdt enable and then I have to pass in the interval in which um, the I would have the counter overflow. And I will use an interval of two seconds here until reset. Okay, and down here in the endless loop, I will add a, um, I will reset the watchdog with the watchdog reset function here. So in normal operation, um, I only come into this interrupt service routine when I press S or when a new chore is received, and I will leave it quite quickly. But now if I enter this endless loop here, the program will hang up, and then two seconds later, the program will be resetted by our watchdog. So let's try this. So let me build it. Okay, and now let me flash it. This looks good. Okay, and now let's open up screen again. So if I press S, the LED will be set. If I press R, the LED will be unset. If I press capital A, I'm entering this endless loop. And after two seconds, um, I get this stop program print again, which was at the start of my main function before en um, entering the endless loop, and it works again. Great, so that's how to use a watchdog. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed my A4R Advents calendar and you have learned something. And of course, I wish you Merry Christmas. So goodbye and I hope I will see you in my next videos.